and saw a rainbow. So we have some guy, oh, it's not gonna focus on him. Oh, there he is, running with a chest protector. Clearly he's going to fight some battle. How do you just leave your sweet plex? The guy just showed up with some car, or some hot rod magazines, and he's talking to me about June Dale. He went to school with my aunt and my uncle and my dad and blah, 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 and he's got a bunch of old pictures of June Dale when it was being built, so that's freaking awesome. It's, the history is coming to me now. So cleaning out this room is going to become Gemma's and uh, we're going to move all that stuff into her old office and make that a mini training room or a mini meeting room and then I'm going to put all her cabinet file cabinets under here. Don't know how her desk is going to go yet. Took off this one shelf but yeah that's status. Hey Jim. You know how you've been looking for that new sound? Well, listen to this. I'm trying to convince Jen that in order to deal with kids, the last thing you do is ever let them know that you that they have you rattled or that they've pissed you off. We get to be smug and like laughing at them. We get to dictate anything. So never let them see that you're pissed and Hell, don't even tell them the punishment right off the bat. Just pull up with a smile and they know you're pissed. But you don't, you don't have to, you don't have to, I would never give them the pleasure of knowing that they've made me so angry. And whenever I do, I regret it because it's like, that didn't win, that didn't help. It certainly didn't get the point across any better when I was yelling at Lena than if I tell her very calmly and smugly. That's way more insulting to get told your punishment when it's said in a smug way rather than a Rawr! Angry way. So, life is good. At the store to pick up some beer and dinner. Backstage again. Oh, there is my girls. Thank you very much. Can you tell me how your day was? Yeah. What did you do today? I can't hear you, what? Just went to school. How was school? Good. What did they teach you today? Tell me I made a, a paper truck. A paper truck? Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. Awesome. I saw your picture from your cubby. The picture that's in your cubby where you look scared and shy? My teacher took a picture. Right. You should do the same thing when I'm taking a picture. The same thing as I do. Or you do when I'm taking a picture of you. Don't worry about it. Just be happy river. I get it though. Like, at this stage, at this age, you feel protected here. And when you go to places like that, you feel like we're not around, so you may not get to be the river bee that you are. Be the river bee that you are everywhere, okay? okay. <laughs> How's dinner? Who made this? The store? It's gonna be weird eating stuffed peppers from another place. They both taste yeah. nothing like yours. Yeah, I know. I would imagine it doesn't taste just like mine, but hopefully it's dinner. <laughs> River Sawyer's talking to you. such an idiot. So I went and picked up dinner from the grocery store and got stuffed peppers based on the idea that Jen and Lena were not going to be here. And there were only four stuffed peppers, so I'm not going to get to eat anything. I'm going to have to wait until they leave to figure out something else to eat. I'm not going to tell anybody. 
This is these two pretending like eating mashed potatoes is the worst thing that's ever happened. <laughs> okay, eat, your, eat, eat, swallow, swallow the food. Okay, don't do that. That's gross. That's rude. Swallow it. Oh, she's gonna rub her forehead. I can see it coming. <laughs> she's so full, she's gotta rub her forehead, folks. That's how it works. There will be nothing for you, Echo. Jenna's about to finish her plate right now. River, eat your mashed potatoes. I think we should discuss how much food you've eaten in relation to your mom. If you finish those mashed potatoes, you ate all of everything your mom ate and an extra um, stuffed pepper. So let's finish these mashed potatoes. What we got is one more bite. Oh, you ready for it? Okay, finish it up. What? I got chocolate on that TV right there. Is it what? What is that? Sand. Sand for this baby. She asked me if it was chocolate sand. No, it's not chocolate sand, it's just sand. Hide under sand. You know, you'd think I'd be able to sit down on the couch one evening and maybe doze a little bit early, but everybody's just constantly talking to me. I don't understand. Nobody talks to me for hours when I sit out on the porch, but I come in here for... It's just ridiculous. Echo, you'll be okay. Echo. Good girl. Watch your watch. Lena. Jen, watch your watch. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. Stop, stop. Memories in my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind. I'm still a secret lemonade drinker, drinker.